Noticing fears, it's very important that you're aware of your dog's reaction to different things. Pay attention to how they react, not only to the vacuum cleaner in your home, but some dogs that have been adopted are really scared of the broom or the mop, right? I've met some dogs who are really afraid of the oven beeping or thunder and lightning, fireworks, those are common noises that dogs are afraid of. Be very aware of your body movements, especially with an adopted dog. If you reach down to pet them on their head, most dogs will flinch just a little bit and move back. That's why it's very important that you always reach down and pet them on their chest first. Be aware of moving your legs close to them in the beginning just to see if they flinch a little bit or get nervous. You never know what experiences they've had in the homes that they've been in before. Be very w aware of your tone of voice. If you're gonna be having more of a heated conversation, it's very important that you go into another room and don't have that conversation in front of your dog. Some dogs get really nervous when the energy shifts in the room and if someone is feeling frustrated or upset or anxious about something, that can cause anxiety for some dogs that are used to walking on eggshells. Maybe they were in a home in the past where people were arguing all the time or things were being thrown against the wall. You never know how they're going to react. Sometimes dogs get really afraid and nervous when a football game is on because people tend to get more elevated in their energy, their emotions, their tone of voice, and the dog runs to hide to get away from it. Always make sure that they have a safe place to retreat to, whether it's their crate, if they tend to hide in a closet when they get nervous, make sure that closet door is open and honor their fears. Don't put them in a position to force them to overcome them.